Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Zerum, a Japanese science fiction action movie from 1991 that was directed by Keita Amemiya. Now, I was looking through my channel and came to the terrifying conclusion that I somehow never reviewed this awesome tokozatsu movie. It's time to rectify that. Two happy-go-lucky electricians go out on a job expecting that it will be just like any other day only to find themselves suddenly zapped into a violent alternate dimension. The Zone, as it is called, is a battleground created by Iria, a cute but badass intergalactic bounty hunter, and Bob, her super brainy computer sidekick. They created this zone to capture and destroy Zeta, an evil alien creature. Soon, the bumbling electricians join forces with the girl to take this monster down. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this director, he is a huge contributor to the contemporary tokuzatsu scene. So he's directed loads of special effects-driven films and television shows. You know, he did some Kamen Rider stuff and a ton of installments in the Garo franchise. Now, I've never actually seen Garo before, but I'm working to correct that because I've been meaning to. Uh, I've heard it's pretty, pretty cool. So Amemiya also did special effects work on a few Hong Kong movies that I've reviewed, The Peacock King and Saga of the Phoenix. So even if you don't know his name, you may have come across his work. So it's no surprise that one of the, one of the highlights of Zerum is the special effects. A lot of practical effects in this, which I'm a big fan of, even some stop motion effects, which I'm also a fan of. Really neat to watch. The monster designs are very cool. Uh, this Zero monster itself, like, changes form on multiple occasions. So it allows the filmmakers to explore a variety of, like, weird body structures that are kind of a joy to behold. It gets a little weird at times, which is good, because that's, uh, weirdness at times can be, can be seen as creativity, and that's what we have here. There is some creepy imagery at times as well. So, for example, there's a little face that's, like, embedded into this monster's forehead, and it shoots out and, like, attacks people. And that, that face just kind of creeps me out because it, like, it, like, smiles. Like, like, in a little... It's almost like a demon or something. It's pretty cool. And then we have these little, like, minion monsters that he has. that are like, weird-looking uh, physical effects suits. A lot of body suits in this, you know? And th they will be enjoyed by fans who like that sort of thing. And then we have the action. You get, like, shootouts and fights, and they're fun to watch. I mean, it, like, the size difference between the girl bounty hunter and this huge, like, alien monster is pretty significant, but that, that difference kind of creates uh, some pretty fun, like, interaction in the, in the fights. The fights are kind of, like, they're cool, but also kind of cheesy at the same time. Like, the opening, for example, is like a black and white shot of this Zeta monster killing a bunch of armed space soldiers, and that's a pretty cool scene. And then you get the first duel between... Uh, Iria, the main character, and this monster, right around the 30-minute mark, and it's pretty lengthy for uh, an early action scene, and this monster proves to be quite formidable and difficult to take down. You know, you need multiple weapons and strategies to do it, to, to defeat it, and then you have, like, this section in the middle where the electricians, like the normal bumbling electricians, are kind of, are trapped you know, with this monster in this, like, uh, zone area, and they just have to survive for a while until the girl can come back and help them. And then we get the big finale, of course, which is pretty lengthy and fun to watch. Again, this monster is tough to kill, and it always makes things more exciting and fun when the monster just keeps, like, coming back, you know? So it's pretty cool stuff. Story and characters are pretty basic. Uh, you know, if you think about it, one potential problem with basic story and characters is that you any downtime you have between the action could become boring, in theory. But that's not really the case with this film. I mean, I liked the character interaction, and the characters are actually likable, which helps. Um, and there's also a sense of danger, because you know this monster's still out there, like, hunting these, these characters down. And, uh, you know, even if there's not an action scene on screen at the time. And that, that helps. Pacing is actually surprisingly good for this film, I think. And the runtime's only, like, one hour and 37 minutes long. Lead actress is Yuko Moriyama, who has a very small filmography. She was in a few of those Kunoichi films, but she only has 12 acting credits in IMDb, which I think is ridiculous, because she's really good in this. And, and most of those roles appear to, like, su appear to be supporting roles in like TV shows and movies. So 
uh, I guess that makes Zerum even more special because we get to enjoy her presence. And she's a lot of fun to watch in this. She's likable, she's attractive, she has charisma, and she actually moves pretty well during the fights. You know, I don't know her background, but I, I would assume that she doesn't have martial arts background, that she's just, uh, you know, an actor. But she, she uh, holds herself well, I think, in the action. And the music in this film is really good. It's a mix of, like, percussion, synth, violin, and other stuff, like chanting and ringing bells. It's kind of creative and unique. Uh, so, yeah, that's. I wish they had, like, an OST available for this, uh, but I haven't been able to find one. So, if you're in the mood for, like, a fun sci-fi action flick, I highly recommend Zadam. It has a lot of charm to it, and when the film is done, it, it's, it's weird. It's like, you get, like, this warm feeling in your heart. It's kind of odd, the way it's, it's like, uh, it, it's kind of, it feels wholesome <laughs> in some ways. It's currently streaming on YouTube, but that's the English dub, unfortunately. You want to hear this in its original language. Maybe you could try it dubbed, and then if you like it, pick up the physical media release. And it just got a Blu-ray release in the United States like a few months ago. So check this one out. It's, it's a cool flick. There's also a live-action sequel, which I will be reviewing soon, and a six-episode OVA anime that was produced, which I remember being decent, but not as good as the live-action films. So, there's some Zerum content out there for you to watch. And as always, we will see you next time.